Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Here we are in Route 7, right outside Luther Corp 33.1. Last time, Professor Maple somehow escaped from custody and, well, started going after some kind of uh, aquatic sphere or something, and a couple things. He appears to be looking for something here from Lex Luthor, uh, I guess from this Earth, and he, I don't know, we gotta stop him. So, with the help of Evan and Emmett, um, and Professor Palm, we're gonna try to do just that. So let's go. So here we are in Luther Corp 33.1. So, let's go through here. Alright, we're running into something. It's Apache Risu. Alright. Apache Risu is certainly one of the, uh, one of the best Pika clones. No real question. We are using a Pika clone, though, so, you know, don't... Don't question the, uh, the effectiveness of more Pico, though. All right, Pikachu, the, the OG Pika. Seriously? Come on. Oh, it's a more Pico. We've got Hungry, though. So, I think we're good. Let us continue. Really? Really, game. We've got a more Pico. Here we no, I want to hit the switch, and here we go. Alright. Oh boy, that's not good. Ah, I kind of figured you'd show up here. I'm not too worried though. You see, I already found the weapon I need. Plus, thanks to Mewtwo here, this world is really gonna learn not to get in my way. Here, let me give you a taste of my newfound power. Alright, here we go. We are once again challenged by Professor Maple. So this time he's leading off Togekiss. Alright, um... Zing Zap. We Zing Zap and then we Ancient Punch. Tropius was, a, uh, was actually a convenience for us. Because Tropius gave us the perfect opportunity to set up. Togekiss should give us just the same opportunity. Come on, we need the boost right now. Come on. We got the boost, let's go, plus one. It's not enough, but you know, it's a start. It's certainly a start. We need to get all the boosts if we want to take out Blissey. Alright, next up is Mewtwo. Yep, he's got Mewtwo. All right, um, unpaid eye, unpaid eye. That's, that's our best option, 100%. I'm pretty sure I think it gets in her focus, so we're not flinching it anyway. We're at plus one, one hit KO, let's go. Stab and super effective, base 200 power move, Mewtwo is going down. Next up is Lucario. This one is a threat. Once again, we don't have anything super effective, and once again, inner focus. So, because flinching is so prevalent in this game, there's a lot more Pokemon with inner focus. So, to, to compensate. As long as it doesn't crit, we live. If it crits, we, well, don't. Perfect. Now, he's gonna heal. He's gonna heal. If we get the boost, things zap KOs. <gasps> he didn't heal! What is this? What is this? Alright, Hungry's down. We don't take a cross earthquake. Doesn't matter, I mean, it'll do less than cross chop would've, but we're still not taking it. <gasps> we're taking it! Alright, he's gonna heal now, so... You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think at plus two, Zingzap does KO. Yeah, he's healing now. So, 
if we didn't get the plus two, uh, get to plus two right there, there's no way he would have hit um, lived in Earthquake. If he if he went cross chop once again, he would have uh, taken us out. I think it's because the AI saw the KO with Earthquake, so it just randomly picked between Earthquake and cross chop. It didn't predict that we were going to get the um, the uh, the plus two. So now the exact KOs. Perfect, Lucario's down. Next up is Eternatus. Alright, um... This, this is a bit intense. Alright. So, on Payday. Strongest move we got, plus two, stab, neutral. Here we go. Maybe I should have gone Pixie Kick. I think we made the right call. Eternatus is down. Next up is Azumarill. Alright. Plus two Zing Zap. I think we're good. So Maple picking up those legendaries. That's a little bit intimidating. Although ironically, I think his non-legendaries are more threatening. <laughs> Alright. Lissy is coming in. We're at plus two. I don't think we're gonna take I don't think it's gonna take us out with anything it, it goes for. Um the problem is if it goes for sacred if it if it lands a sacred fire, that's gonna slow us down significantly. Alright, so what I'm gonna do Zing Zap again, then predict this the soft boiled, go for ancient punch. If we get the boost, then Zing Zap will do more damage. Although no, it's still... <sighs> Zing Zap doesn't do enough. He's going soft-boiled right now. He's going soft-boiled. Alright, there's the attack boot. Well, we get the, uh, the Omni boost. Come on. Come on, don't go Sacred Fire. No matter what you do, don't Sacred Fire and don't Sharpen. There's the soft-boiled. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. So now we can handle it. Because at plus three, Zing Zap should be able to do enough to take out the Blissian. It's definitely a three hit KO, at least. Um, when you incorporate the soft oil, even. Yeah. Well, that. Alright, there we go. Another Zing Zap KOs. We're good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Zing Zap and goodbye, Blissy. You're not taking another one. Perfect. Alright, so Blissey's down. So with that, we defeated Pokemon Professor Maple. How do you keep doing this? Alright, Omni Boosts are so good. Especially with Serene Grace. I'm not sure how you got to be this strong, but that doesn't matter. Mewtwo may not have been quite enough to beat you this time. But I'm not very concerned. In fact, thanks to the magic those who freed me have bestowed upon me with this weapon, the world is going to be destroyed. Whatever remains will just be plunged into darkness. Now, I just have to restore the power of the Nexus in San Francisco and claim its power for myself. I bet you're wondering why I'm wasting my time telling you all this. To be honest, because it really doesn't matter. With the power from the Triad, you simply cannot stop me. Mewtwo broke free. Oh dear. You know what? I don't even need Mewtwo. I, it can go free for all I care. I'll be on my way now. Farewell. The Mewtwo started to attack. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> <gasps> it's shiny. Wild Mewtwo appeared. All right. Um. Let's go into Ziggy. Let's go Ziggy here. Aura Sphere, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Now nah, we cross chop. No, not cross chop, false flake. We're not doing any damage though, are we? Alright, let's get. Actually, we can't flinch it because inner focus. Alright. All right, there's a crit. Never mind. Doesn't have inner focus. I guess didn't say pressure. 
whatever. That's fine. It's still, it's a shiny. Okay, let's catch it. Let's go for a great ball. Fits the color scheme. Come on, Mewtwo. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. All right, so with that, we caught Mewtwo. This is your opportunity to catch Mewtwo at this point, so it is during the story, so... Um, unfortunately, if you don't catch it here, that is kind of sad, because I don't think you get another chance. Uh, but, this is, so you, you are going to want to be prepared with Pokeballs when you battle Maple here. Mewtwo is a Pokemon that was created by genetic manipulation. However, even though the scientific power of humans created this Pokemon's body, they failed to endow Mewtwo with a compassionate heart. The genetic Pokemon Mewtwo. I'm going to call you Mew Blue. All right, Mew Blue is going to the PC. So free Mewtwo seems to have stopped the generator. Fair enough. All right, we're running into another Pokemon. It's Emolga this time. Yeah, there's a lot of Pika clones in here. Okay. Do we have an escape rope? I think we do. We do not. All right, I'm gonna use a repel then. Uh, this is also somewhere if you need a thunderstone, you can go pick one up. You can buy them at a department store, so I mean, it's not like it's anything that special, but you know, it is there. Great, okay, we need to click the switch here. Never mind, we have to go the other way around. Whoops! There we go. There we go. Okay. Power off, that is fine by me. We want to go back to San Francisco. So we've gone full circle. No, I didn't want to go here. San Francisco. We've gone full circle. First to Miami, then to just under Tree Hill, and now the Sam back to San Francisco. Okay. So we want to be ready for Professor Maple now. Here at the Hallowell Manor. Somehow things always end up here. I don't know why. But here we go. Uh hungry? All you. Here we go. Okay. Just how often people seem to break into uh, this house is kind of nuts. With the power given to me by the Triad, I shall restore the power of the Nexus and use it to bring this world to an end. You can't do this. That's just it. I can. Not if we can stop you. After all the times you've betrayed me, boy, I, I'm not even giving you a chance to join me this time. Just watch as everything you hold dear goes away forever. What is wrong with you, man? Yeah, why even bother doing all this anyway? Honestly, this was what the Triad had instructed me to do as a condition of my freedom and powers, but since they're already gone... I guess it just comes down to revenge. Great, the world ends because of some guy from another universe altogether had his feelings hurt. Mind your tone. Oh, and Eric, you think you can stop me? You have no idea how powerful I've become. But hey, how about I just show you? Here we go, once again, we are challenged by Professor Maple. All right, this time, once again, leading off Togekiss. So, same strategy. Same strategy. 
We just need to get the boosts. If we don't get the Ancient Power boost, though, we do have a problem. If we don't get the flinch here, we also have a problem. But yeah, there's the flinch. I'm more worried about not getting the Ancient Punch boost. Come on. Come on, we need the boost. Give me the boost. There we go. Plus one. Perfect. All right. Next up is Cresselia. Of course it's Cresselia. Call back to, uh, all the way back to, uh, Grass Jewel 1 and 2. All right, um... I'm gonna Zing Zap first, and then I want to Unpayday. But I don't want to Unpayday until we get to a point where we ca where we'll KO it, for sure. If Zing Zap does that much, I think Unpayday should finish it. Even with the leftovers, we should be able to finish it. Because Cresselia is especially bulky, but not enough. Alright, so Cresselia's down. Next up is Blissey. That's what I was afraid of. Alright, here we go. Only a plus one, that's not enough. I'd rather see Blissey at the end. Okay. We need to read the Blissey. We need to read this Blissey. Alright, we got another flinch. Alright, we gotta go for another Zing Zap. There's the flinch. You know what? I think we can KO. I don't think he heals right now. He doesn't heal. Alright, come on. Come on. We need a high roll. Give me a high roll. Let's go! We're taking down Blissey with plus one. Alright, next up is Eternatus. That does scare me a little bit. Um, I'm going to unpayday here. It is a bit risky because that thing is going to hit pretty hard if we don't KO. And I don't think we KO at plus one. Yeah, we don't. Alright. There's the silver wind. Please do not boost. Do not boost. If you boost, we have trouble. All right. All right, we got a problem. We got a problem. Okay. I think we still outspeed, though. So now we have the ancient punch because he's going to heal. Although two unpaydays will KO. The problem is if we don't get the boost. If we don't get a boost right here, we have a problem. If we do get the boost, I think we take out the Eternatus. If we get to plus two, I think we take it out. There we go. I think we should be okay. Although, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to Pixie Kick. I'm just going to Pixie Kick here. Let's get a flinch. Then we know on Payday KOs. There we go. No, I didn't want to Ancient Punch. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. That hurts. That absolutely hurts. Okay. That wasn't me being greedy. That was me actually misclicking. Alright. If it crits here, then that costs us the game. Oh, no. Alright. Okay, now... Oh boy. Ancient Punch again. He's whittling our health down. The problem is, if he takes out Hungry, we lose straight up. Like, we'll actually straight up lose. Okay. I think Unpayday should KO at this point. I think we should be able to KO at this point. Do I risk it in Pixie Kick just to be safe? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Uh, although plus three versus plus two, I don't think it KOs. Alright, it does. All right, perfect. Alright, Eternus is down. 
And now we should be able to one-shot Azumarill and Lucario, so we should be okay. Or wait a minute, is it... Actually, no, it might be Darkrai rather than Lucario. In which case, that actually makes things easier for us. We definitely one-shot Azumarill. And then... Darkrai, yeah. Okay, with Pixie Kick, we're good. We are golden. We are absolutely golden here. Because even if Darkrai takes out Hungry, we still finish it. We're good. We're good. It's funny how a misclick almost cost us the game. But with that, we defeated Professor Maple. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Of course you didn't. Like, half of your team is legendaries and mythicals. You lost, so give up. Never. A mere battle doesn't prove anything. I now have the power to... Stop! You're too late. The room suddenly began to glow. Oh boy. That could be a problem. You may have won the battle, but you're still too late. Prepare yourself for the end of the world. It is time for my revenge to finally come to fruition. Say goodbye to everything you know. Oh boy. Alright, so we are plunged into a world of darkness now. Um, now, this is not like in Grass Jewel 2, where you had to go through a giant maze. All you gotta do is go up, honestly. And, alright. Hello there, Celebi. It's the time travel Pokemon Celebi. Maybe Celebi can take us back in time to stop Professor Maple from destroying the world and sending us into the world of this world of darkness. Celebi used its powers to take us back in time to before Professor Maple destroyed the world. It'd probably be best to hurry so we could stop him in time this time around. Alright, well before we do that, let's actually go heal up. But yeah, we're certainly going to want to uh, stop him in time. Alright, here we go. And, alright, let's go. Same thing, but faster. We gotta work faster this time. Fortunately, Celebi was able to help us. Here we go. With the power given to me by the Triad, I shall restore the power of the Nexus and use it to bring this world to an end. You can't do this. That's just it. I can. Not if we can stop you. After all the times you betrayed me, boy, I'm not even giving you a chance to join me this time. Just watch as everything you hold dear goes away forever. What is wrong with you, man? Yeah, why even bother doing all this anyway? Honestly, this is what the Triad instructed me to do as a condition of my freedom and powers, but since they're already gone, I guess it just comes down to revenge. Great, the world ends because some guy from another universe altogether had his feelings hurt. Mind your tone. Oh, and Eric, you think you can stop me? You have no idea how powerful I've become. But hey, how about I just show you? All right, here we go. So this time we are battling Professor Maple again. This time a little bit earlier, so maybe he had less time to prepare. Okay, so let's zing zap. Here we go. We need a flinch and then we need to uh, get the boost. There's the flinch. Now for the boost. Show me the boost. Come on, Hungry. Come on. You didn't get the boost. Alright, that actually really sucks. So Cresselia's gonna come in. We have a problem. We actually have a problem now, because now we don't have an answer for Blissey. Alright. One more Zing Zap, and then I think Unpayday clinches. 
All right. Professor Maple has some really bulky Pokemon, and that's really what makes this uh, a challenging battle. Um, ironically, I think that he's that his team is probably easier with um, Cresselia and Darkrai over um, what is it, Porygon Z and uh, Lucario. And actually, no, I think it was Mewtwo and Lucario. He dropped Porygon Z and Tropius when he picked up Mewtwo and uh, Eternatus. All right, next up is Blissey. We have no boost, so I really have no reason to go, to keep Hungry in. Um, I can go Ziggy and just go for the Rock Slides and just hope to flinch because that plus the King's Rock, not King's Rock, Space Fries. I'm going to start with Purple. Maybe if we can get the Meteor Mash down. Uh, or, yeah, I'm going to go for Meteor Mash here, because if it goes for Sharpen, then Crunch is Moot, if, even if we get the defense drop, because it's resisted anyway. Boost. There's the boost, so, I mean, problem is, it's not going to go Sacred Fire anyway, Silver Wind. No, that is, that is just as bad. That is just as bad. Yeah, all right. All right, that's how it's going to be. That is how it's going to be. All right, um, all right, I need to let who go for Sacred Fire on this thing. Although he's going to heal. I'm just going to Ancient Punch then. Boost, please. I should have gone Meteor Mash there. Yeah, we got the boost, but that would have KO'd. All right, you're going to Soft Boil now, aren't you? You're sharpening. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. I really don't like it. Okay, now you heal. So plus two Blissey. The good news is it's not going to go for Sacred Fire on purple. There's like a 0% chance of that happening. Alright. Meteor Mash. Give me crit here. Just give me a crit. Come on, game. Just give me, like, a plot armor crit here. Didn't even need it. Let's go! Blissey is down. Purple for the win! Alright, Purple, you're gonna keep going, then. I think, what is it, plus two now? I guess we can just Dragon Claw. This should do some serious damage. I think with a boosted Salamence, we should be in really good shape. There we go, Eternatus is down. Next up is Azumarill. Now that concerns me a bit. That actually concerns me a bit. Um. Okay, I'm gonna Ancient Punch here. If we get the boost, that should be good. We didn't get the boost. You're going to get a boost, I bet. If you get a boost, we have a problem. I'd rather see you KO me and not get the boost. Don't get a boost. Thank you. All right. That's okay. That's fine. That is absolutely okay with me. Because now Hungry can just go for a Zing Zap. If it got a boost, I'm pretty sure it would have outsped us, though. But now I think this KOs. Perfect. So Azumarill's down. Next up is Darkrai. Um, Ziggy, you have Cross Chop. Let's go for it. Why not? Why not? Maybe we get a flinch. Here we go. Cross Chop. No, all right. We're not getting the K uh, the crit with the KO, but we are getting the flinch right there, so that's kind of nice. Another cross chop and dark rise down. Perfect. All right. I think we battled enough dark ride to know what we're doing now. So with that, we defeated Professor Maple. Okay, I didn't see that coming. 
You lost, so give up. Never. Mere battles improve anything. I just need a little more time to... Stop! What is this? You think you can stop me? I'm not quite sure if the preparations are complete yet, but watch this. The room suddenly began to glow. Alright, so... Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, hopefully the preparations were not complete. Otherwise, we got a problem. The ground started to shake. Whoa. What just happened? What's going on? Who are you? Wait a second. Who am I? Where are we? What's happening? What just happened? Perhaps his power was too much to handle. It appears he has amnesia. If he didn't have his preparations completed, his spell to restore the Nexus must have backfired? Spell? Nexus? What are you people talking about? Do you really not remember anything, Father? Father? Are you my son or something? At least he doesn't seem to be a threat anymore. You sure about that? Hey, you. Do you have any desire to maybe destroy the world? What? Destroy the world? What kind of nut job do you think I am? You know what? Maybe we should take him back to Portland. As long as he's like this, he's not a threat to anyone. Okay, but we'll keep an eye on him. So if anything changes, we'll be the first to stop him. Well then, Emmett, I guess you get your father back, but make sure to keep an eye on him. Will do. Oh, hello, Celebi. Looks like Celebi's ready to bring us back to the present, now that the world's been saved. Alright. So with that, we have, uh, saved the world again. Cool. All right. So with that, we have completed the second arc of the post game. Professor Maple now has amnesia, so he's not really a threat anymore. Convenient enough, I suppose. All right. So with that, we are, uh, we can now actually battle, uh, all three, um, Professor Maple, uh, Emmett and Evan all in Portland now. So we might just go do that at some point a little bit later on. I'm not going to do those kind of post-game battles quite yet because there is still one more post-game arc for us to, uh, go explore. And, well... I guess we're going to go take that on next time. So thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Goodbye.